On the Summary tab, we can see a preview of the product information we entered. We can click on the link next to Product Name, Description, Summary Description, or Keywords to make any changes to these fields, or click on the link to take us back to the Product Details, Attributes, Imprinting, or Price tabs. While our product has multiple price grids, only the first price grid will display on the Summary page. We can click on the Manage Pricing link to review all price grids. While we are finished adding data, we still need to define certain relationships. For example, certain imprint colors may only apply to certain imprint methods. To create these relationships, let's click on the Manage Product Availability link. In this area, we can set the relationships we need. We'll start with designating specific imprint colors or the imprint method to which they apply. We we'll use the first drop-down to select imprint color and the second to select imprint method. Then we'll click on the Show button. All variations will be displayed. It is important to note that since we indicated that the shirt is sold as a blank, Sold Unimprinted displays as one of the imprint methods. We can see red and black for each silkscreen, embroidered, and sold unimprinted. The colors for the sold unimprinted options display with a Make Orderable link. This indicates that this relationship currently cannot be ordered. When we are finished establishing our relationships, we can click on the Save button and then click on the Summary tab. Also on the Summary tab, there is a button for Advanced Options. Here, we have the option to assign multiple product numbers to this product based on attributes such as color, size, imprint method, production time, etc. Product numbers will show in all systems and ESP Online will use these product numbers to break out to individual items. We also have the option to break out by custom configuration. This means that we can break the product out into individual products based on an attribute, such as color, size, material, imprint options, etc. in ESP Web. Once we are finished reviewing our data, we can click on the Make Active link here, and our product will display on ESP within 30 minutes.